Hello, my beautiful wallflowers. How are you today? Alex is here with Oat Modesty. Well, today I have a surprise, and it was really a surprise. And I got a happy package or happy mail from one of my beautiful wildflowers. I suspect that it is for my birthday that was yesterday. And when I came home from work today, I found this actually sitting on my porch. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what's in here. So if you're interested in seeing what I got, please stay tuned. <music> Okay, welcome back my beautiful wildflowers. Well, today's the 23rd, the day after my birthday, and you should be probably seeing this on the 24th. It's like a day late, right? And anyway, um, I'm it's really late right now, so I'm probably not even making sense. Matter of fact, my watch ran out of battery. So let me see what time does my other watch say? It's 9 p.m. And so uh, what you see on my face is from 5 a.m. this morning so part of my makeup is still on definitely my blush and definitely my um uh, what do you call that concealer is still hanging in there so anyway I am working on the concealer top five maybe it's going to be a little more than that I may mix it up and I'm also working on the blush where I found some really beautiful blush that I want to share with you and so yeah hold on for those things and they're coming very soon okay I promise and before we go into this package, which I'm dying to go into, but we need to do our affirmation or the quote for the day. And I found one just now. This just popped up. It said, well, let me show you what that looks like. It looks like, you know, very plain print and type print on black paper. And it says, when your passion and purpose are greater than your fears and excuses, you will find a way. And that is so powerful, you guys. I mean, this is so, so, so very true. When your passion and purpose are greater than your fears and your excuses, you will find a way. More than your fears is your excuses, right? Making excuses for those things that you don't want to do or you can't do or why you can't do it right now and you got to wait till next year. And, you know, it ends up being, you know, time passes. And next thing you know, it's like, oh my God, why didn't I do this 10 years ago? Because obviously your passion and your purpose wasn't as strong and it couldn't override that fear or the excuses that you had for the time, right? And so sometimes you just have to say, you know what? Forget about it. I'm just going to do it now. It, it is what it is. I'm going to do it now and I'm going to try my best. I'm going to be passionate about it. I'm going to be focused and intentional. And then, you know, you'd be surprised how far you get when you, you know, when you approach life that way. So, yeah. So that's a, that's a good one. I like it. Okay. Before, I mean, I mean, without further ado, I received this from Cindy Smith, my beautiful wildflower. Thank you so much, Cindy. And I think that's what it is. I'm assuming, right? I'm making big assumptions here. But I am going to go ahead and open the package. And I'm going to, let's see. Uh, I'm afraid to cut into it too much because I don't know what's in it. <laughs> so... Okay, oh, and there's a card first. Aw, this is Alex, and she knows what I go by. That is actually what I go by at work, and, you know, instead of Alexis, that's my formal name. And, um, you know, everybody calls me Alex, or my nickname actually is Amira, so some people call me Amira, um, so, because Alexis Amira. So, it is what it is. Now, I can't find my glasses, but that's okay. Let's see what it says. And I'm going to go ahead and, oh, it's a pretty card. It's a pretty Hallmark card. It has a little gardening. Oh, she reminds me I have to do my gardening. I'm so terrible about it now. My plants, my poor plants. They're still alive. It's just, you know, they're, they're not loving me right now. So it says, some people make each day warmer, brighter, and better for everyone around them. Aw, you're one of those special people and you deserve a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday, my dear friend. Love, Cindy Smith. Oh, thank you so much, Cindy. That is so sweet. And I love this card. Oh, 
And, you know, I love things like this. You know, it means so much to me when somebody's thinking about you and you're writing it, you know, and putting it in the mail. And it's so easy anymore, too. You know, like, I, I'm really guilty of this as, you know, emailing all my friends. And I should actually send cards and do more of that stuff because I'm capable, you know. So, okay, let's see. Oh, okay. Is this, is this pink uh, paper from one of the Macy's boxes, maybe? <laughs> it looks just like that. Okay, and let's see. Oh, look at this. This is so cute. It says kindness is also contagious. Spread kindness, not germs. Oh, I like that because, you know, I'm a director of infection prevention. And so actually this would be really nice to kind of frame and put it on my wall at work. That is so nice. I think it's a tea towel, is it? Is it? I think so. Yeah, this is very nice. Thank you so much. That is so appropriate. Yep. You know, being director of infection prevention and control, it is better to spread kindness and it's a lot more contagious and you know, than germs need to be. So, yeah. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to go ahead and move the papers out of the way. I want to be really careful because, you know me, bull in a china shop and I, I, I'll go into a full bore and drop something. So, okay, I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it. I got it. And this is very well, uh, yeah, wrapped. So let's see what's in here. Okay. Oh, very nice. Oh, it's a mug. I have no idea. <laughs> I have this, I have this, uh, this relationships with mugs, you know. I just, I love, I love, love mugs. And I collect mugs, actually. And um, actually, I like, I like to take, you know, something to work. And I have one. Cindy, I think it was you who bought, yes, it was you who bought me my, uh, my spill proof cup, the tumbler, and I take that to work with me. It's just so nice. And you know what? This is a tea maker and I've been, I actually have been looking for a good one and I haven't been able to find it. Okay. And it's, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Find your bloom. Look at this. So cute. Okay, silica gel. Okay, and then I think there was tea in here. Some. Oh no, it's silica gel, and it gives me directions on doing whatever that I'm supposed to do. And it says here instructions inside. I want to make sure I follow. This is very. Look at this. This is like very interesting. And, and there's instructions, so that means it's important that I follow them. So look at this. This is like very interesting. I don't think I've quite seen anything like this. All right, what is the worst instructions? Because I don't want to mess this up. Okay, it's called the Evergreen. Instructions for pressure activated lid. Oh, cool. Um, apply pressure to lid with your upper lip. Huh? Apply pressure to your lid with upper lip. Tilt cup slightly to allow for flow of liquid. Oh, lid automatically reseals without pressure. Use caution with hot liquids. Oh, cool. I get it. You close this. It's like silicone. And then you kind of apply, you know, pressure with your upper lip as you drink. And then you drink and then you release and it, it seals itself. Very interesting. You know what? They must they must do this really um, carefully because people can get burned. So I think that's why it says instructions. I'm going to really follow the instructions really well. And I'm going to try it with a not hot liquid first to make sure I got it correct. So, well, thank you so much. This is so beautiful. Thank you, Cindy. I really appreciate it. And I will definitely put these things to good use. Okay, my beautiful wildflowers. And yeah, and my birthday was good. And uh, aside from that, um, you know, I, I got a lot of good things. Uh, my husband had things shipped to me and uh, there was a couple of things that came late, but which is perfectly fine, you know. Um, yeah, and but at least I got them. And one of the things I actually had to go and exchange because, well, a couple of things. And I was actually swatching what I got. You, you see that? Because a couple of things came out like really, you know, it's a cream um, eyeshadow. And it, it was all over the place. So I took it back to Bloomingdale's where he ordered it from, two of them. And I was able to get new ones. And I've been loving the one and done eyeshadows. And they are 
beautiful and I will share that with you in time and before we go I want to go ahead and go ahead and open my birch box while we're here I did not say that but let's do it because it's here and I was gonna do it tomorrow but I'm like you know what this was a quick video so let's just go ahead and open my birch box and see what is up so okay joy cannot be contained birch box I think this is the first time I see birch box like this look it's no longer this beautiful Aw, beautiful boxes. I don't know what's going on. I guess they're trying to save money. Joy cannot be contained. Discover your birch box, okay? There it is. And um, they are like a bunch of stuff kind of hanging in there loose. Um, okay, but I do like this color. It's beautiful. So let's see what I have here. You know, I don't have my glasses. I wish I did. I don't know what I did with it. But the first thing I see here is Black Magic Cocoa Edit Mascara and Brown. There it is. It's by Ico. I think uh, people know about this one here. People do like this brand. Uh, but, you know, I only use waterproof mascara. So I'll go ahead and put this aside for a giveaway. And then the next thing in here is dry shampoo. Always open to dry shampoo. And this is Shampooing Sick Hold. Um, it's 100% vegan and cruelty-free, but it's by Maria Nila. And I don't think I've ever heard of this company. Look at this. Huh. And it is a, just a simple, oh, it's a, gee, I don't think I've heard that in the dry shampoo before. This is more like spray paint. That's what it reminds me of, you know, the graffiti spray paint. Okay, but it looks like a dry shampoo, and I do use it. I'm going to go ahead and give it a try, but I'm picky about my dry shampoo, so let's see how this works out. And then the next thing in a box is the Buy Wonder Beauty. It's all-inclusive shampoo and body wash. I don't know what to think about that, guys. It is a body wash and shampoo. I don't know. I always get a little bit creeped out about, you know, body wash that could be used as shampoo. I just think that skin and hair, even though it is scalp, but you still have the hair, they require different kinds of, you know, chemicals to clean your hair and also to, you know, keep it manageable and nice. Whereas I think a body is a little bit more, you, you know, I would like more emollients on my body wash and a little more moisturizer on my body wash where I wouldn't want that in my shampoo because my hair is oily enough. And so I'm a little bit, you know, mm, about this type of product, but I know my husband likes this type of product because it's one and done, right? So it's like a man I needed to put it up here and just all over the place. And this would be actually pretty good for travel. So I'll go ahead and save this for him because he does like things like this. But yeah, this is very interesting that, you know, um, that they come like that. And Wonder Beauty is um, actually, it's a Korean brand. And I actually have something coming from Sephora I ordered because I do like this brand for certain things. And I heard really good things about their cream blush. It's stick blush. So I did order it to try it out. So I'll tell you about that too. Okay, the next thing in the box is called the Jura. And it is a Candulin body cream. It smooths, moisturizes, and softens skins. And it looks like these are all clean beauty. Because so far, all the things that I'm pulling out of the box is by Clean Beauty Company. And this is a, um, it's not a, I thought it was Calendula, but it's not. It's ca Calendu, Calendu, uh, Candle Nut. I <laughs> get Calendu. Candle nut. What's a candle nut? Candle nut body cream. Yeah, it says that. It's right there. As if I get the candle nut right there. What the heck is that? What is that? I don't know what it is. Anyway, tell me what it is below if you know what a candle nut is. <laughs> I was getting all kinds of fancy with that word. Okay, and then the last thing in a box is about Amika. I know this brand pretty good. And they have a very good um, dry shampoo, actually. But this one is a Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. I'm going to assume that this is for hair. Um, moisture and softness. This leave-in treatment deeply hydrates, damp, or strands overnight. Yep, it's for the hair. And it is a, like, overnight hair mask. Mm, I'm not big on going to sleep with, you know, wet hair. So it's not good for your hair either. So I think you're supposed to towel dry it real good and put this on and put maybe something on, definitely like some kind of a cap on your head. So, yeah. Yeah. But, um, you know, I don't use things like that. So I'll just go ahead and throw this into the giveaway. So, yeah, that's it for the birch box. It was kind of like, you know, eh, 
It was meh, like my daughter would say. It was meh. Um, well, I got the <laughs> Candle Nut Body Cream. The Ico Mascara in Brown. Who uses brown? I don't use brown. Does anybody use brown out there? I didn't even know they made them in brown anymore. And the um, the Wander Beauty Shampoo and Body Soap. I'll keep that for my husband. The Amica Hair Mask overnight. And I will give head, a give head, give head, get ahead and give this a try, which is a dry shampoo. And I will go ahead and try this and let you know what I think about it because I have a whole bunch of dry shampoos going at the same time. So I think that's it, my beautiful wildflowers. Again, Cindy, thank you so much. I'm going to enjoy this and I will actually probably take this to work. And um, no, I'm going to leave it here because I like it too much to take to work. So yeah. And I will remember you every time I drink through this, just like I do the other one. So alrighty, my beautiful wildflowers. Well, I think that's it for today. If I added any value or fun value, please hit like. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. And you can do that by pushing the subscribe button, ringing a bell, and select all so you know every time I upload a brand new video. Alrighty, my beautiful wildflowers. I want you to have a good day, good night, good week, or good weekend. When if you're watching this, it doesn't matter. But in a field of the roses, be a wildflower and never sweat the small stuff. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>